Welcome to TJ's room. Hey, how's it going, people? <laughs> we are going to be doing a beer. We're reviewing beer today, so... I mean, without further ado, let's just get right to the beer. How, how about it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, we are drinking a... Uh, Flying dog, another flying dog. I know that we've mm -hmm. done, we did the variety pack before. Yep. And uh, I, bel I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't the most impressive variety pack that they had out. It really wasn't. Um, it was quite a mixed bag. I mean, there were some good beers yeah. they had, like Snake Dog was one of them, but um, which is an IPA that they make. But yeah, um, they had a lager in there that was like comparable to yingling and yingling like it wasn't very cheap, tasty no. a very light beer this beer however um i've heard really good things about it okay. i just recently bought it it's called the truth it's an imperial ipa and it's a very strong one actually it's at about 8.7 percent alcohol so it is the truth yeah it, it packs a punch to it um but yeah as an imperial ipa it's it's supposed to be really hoppy. Just yeah, basically, it's supposed to, supposed to just pack a and bunch. And this is it, really. this is what I've been waiting for because if you get, I, I know a lot of you guys watch my other reviews. Dave is not into beer like this, mm -hmm. and I've been waiting for I've been waiting for your return, buddy, because I'm I've been waiting yeah. for somebody to get into it with you. Yeah, nobody else likes to drink this. No, type of beer. no, everyone yeah, likes the sure. cheapos. I mean, we like the cheapos too. But oh yeah, no do. question. I know. So let's get it. Yeah, let's uh, give it a whiff. Okay. That has a really interesting smell to it. The first thing I get is peaches. It does. It really does, actually. <laughs> peaches. <laughs> For once, I agree with your <laughs> nose. <laughs> interesting, <laughs> yeah, interesting, uh, you know, nose, basically. Um, yeah, it has, yeah, it smells a lot like peach. Maybe a hint of, like, apples or something. Yeah, like that. apples, um... Maybe deep, deep down in it. I mean, I was going to say like flour or yeast, but it is beer, so of course you're going to get notes like that, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But yeah, I, I do get a flour, yeast type deal. Um, you don't smell the hops like, barely at all. Really. No, no, no. I mean, I was going to say, I want to I wanted say that they're there, but I don't smell any hops at all. I yeah, don't. it's pretty um, fruity. It's fruity. It really is. It, it, it's it, fruity. It's pretty dominant in the smell. I mean, yeah. maybe a little hint of banana as well. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, mostly because I know how this beer tastes. I've already had it. <laughs> I've never had it, so this uh, is my first swing. And yeah, the taste is what you're about to tell. Um, doesn't really have anything like that. It does have a hint of a citrus. And the like, color taste. is like a golden cider almost. Yeah. Like an apple juice, or it's funny you say that because like this could totally just like pull off as being like apple yeah. juice or something. Like even with how it smells too. Like no, I don't smell no hops at all. Mm, like, yeah, me neither. Just that fruit and like yeah, that's definitely underneath really, the fruit that like a yeast dominates the smell. Yeah, like yeah, bread type deal. All right, let's taste it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's where the hops is. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. So my yeah, I think I'm gonna go back into number two for it. Really it's splendid good. beer. Really mm. splendid beer. I mean, it's not for everybody. You know, I, I've said it multiple times in other videos, but this one does have the kick in your mouth hops. Like it just it busts you straight in the face with that hops. It does. Um, with that being said, there's like a hint too of that, like it has like a citrus, like slash fruity like mm -hmm. taste to it. But mm -hmm. it's really well balanced with like that. I, th I would say the not... the finish, like like way back in the back of your tongue, like, like lemon lime almost. It finish. does, yeah, yeah. And it's like it's really well balanced. Like it's not like completely hoppy. I guess I would say like yeah. The arri the re the arrival is. Actually, kind of like it's like that dead center of your mouth when that hops really picks up, mm -hmm. and it gets it gets spicy. I mean, it gets that great you know, piney, like the earthy uh, like yeah earth yeah it. earthy bitter, mm -hmm. kind of, which is yeah it's characteristic of like hops yeah you know sure. IPAs and stuff yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is a grand grand beer I'm really liking it this um uh just Very real quick one. oh yeah oh yeah uh. Just real quick, um, I, I would see this going with a, a good, like, meat lover's pizza. 
Oh yeah, for like sure. real spicy, maybe tacos, like spicy spicy tacos or something. Um, burgers. Yeah, um, yeah. Steak too. Yeah, great. Right. Um, IPAs, I feel like in general, are just great with like really meaty food. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would I wouldn't say like a light seafood, but if you're you're pounding that Old Bay on it, mm -hmm. like old like Old Bay like steamed crabs or something, this would go well. But mm -hmm. I think sometimes when seafood gets a little light, like you don't spice it up. For like sure. IPAs don't really match well with it. Um, but with, so, uh, just real quick, you paid what for it? Well, um, it's interesting you ask. Um, I got this in Maryland, uh, at a local, local liquor store down there. And yeah, for a six pack of this, it was only like ten ninety nine, which is actually a really good price. Yeah. I mean, it's still a little bit more pricier than a six pack of, of packs course, or something. Of course. But for that amount of alcohol in it, I mean, 8.7% alcohol, you cannot be Yeah, that. especially if you're sitting yeah. this on this by yourself. I can legitimately say I had, like, two of these the other night, and I was, like, decently well buzzed. Like, it was... Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the alcohol, too, I was going to comment on this earlier, you can't really taste the alcohol, I mean, or that amount of alcohol. It's, like, it's you not really that strong. Yeah, definitely, man. Thanks. Um, <laughs> no, no. I, I, it's, I think the hops really it, covers up the... Yeah, it goes down pretty smooth. So, with all that being said, um, we kind of got what we can eat with it. We kind of got, you know, the flavor profile, the noses and stuff. Number? Um, I probably would have to give it... I'm talking, and don't, this isn't like a party beer where you buy a case and just get down. I mean, yeah. we will probably make that mistake eventually and play beer pong with it. But this is a <laughs> meal beer. For sure. This it's, is something it's not a beer with. for everyone. Yeah. Um, but for my score, like from where I'm coming from, I mean, I'm a beer lo lover, beer connoisseur, or whatever. Yeah. I probably have to give it um, either seven and a half or eight. Yeah. I, I'm I'm um, with you on the seven and a half, uh, especially for a craft brew that's yeah. kind of higher up there with the alcohol. They they usually go pricier, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, you probably will find this between nine and about fourteen bucks a six or where depending on where you're from. For sure. Uh, so I think 10 was a, a very fair medium for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to give it a 7.5 as well. Maybe okay. even I could go even a low 7 just because it's not for everybody, but I'm going to stick with 7.5. Okay, I'll probably stick with 7.5. Okay, so that's 7.5, 7.5 for me. Um, so what you're going to want to do? Have you had this beer before? The truth. It's an Imperial IPA. Um, it was really grand it was a great beer so let us know what you think uh or if you have any other flying dog um yeah for sure any other flying dogs that you want us to try out just let us know yeah and i is this is this just a, a wording or is imperial ipa uh that's actually a type of ipa okay so if you have any other imperial ipas you want mm -hmm. us to try you let us know uh put them in the comments below if you want to get really crazy get on the facebook Give us your favorite flying dog story. Let's hear it. Yeah. And um, subscribe because we're going to do... I got another beer video with him on Law. And I got a bunch of whiskey reviews with David and Lucas. And as always, peace be with you. Later on. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Cool.